What's going on, everybody? We're back to the memory lapse, and uh, it's your friend Will. We're gonna take another crack at the <clears throat> is it Phoenix deck? Phoenix deck here, and this time we're bumping it up to 22 lands from 18 to see how that feels in the best of one format. And some of the notable changes I've made are cutting the three drop uh, Drake, keeping Electromancer. I really did like, I really do like Electromancer in these decks quite a lot. Um, we're playing a split of Radical Idea Chart, Tormenting Voice, and Discovery Dispersal. Uh, if you listen to the game podcast, they were talking about how important it is to <clears throat> play some number of Tormenting Voice, even in this build, just because the deck does tend to get choked on blue mana. And sometimes you need that one mana uh, filter spell or that bit of velocity in red to help you trigger your phoenixes. So we're gonna play a couple of these, and as a metagame call, we're gonna play four Lava Coil. Just feels like the best removal spell in best of one. Um, will help us take down opposing drakes very cheaply, permanently remove Arclight phoenixes. Usually these are just in the sideboard of this deck, or maybe they'll play one main, but we're just gonna put them all on the main. So. You know, velocity cards, a little bit of removal, and then we try to go over the top. So let's jump in and see how it plays. <clears throat> Hope you all are doing well today. I want to thank everyone for hanging out watching the videos, leaving your comments, and if you're new to the channel and enjoying the content, um, you know, please give a thought to subscribing and check out older videos. You know, if you're if you're on the fence, if you're not sure, this is your first time here, you can just click my name below and head over to the channel and see all the content we've made over the last month or so in particular since Open Beta Kit. Uh, this looks like a keep to me. Four land hand <clears throat> on 22. I think in the Esper series, we got exactly one four land hand on 26. But at least we have Charter Course. And we'll have an on time Crackling Drake here. Or Elves. So that's what the shock is for to slow down these draws. And I guess we're gonna chart. Okay. And we'll discard the mountain. Guild gate this turn. Do I wanna play this? I guess we do, because it makes the Drake. Bigger next turn. Okay. <clears throat> Radical idea is a good draw here. They're keeping Vivian. So we know we're on a bit of a clock before they can answer this. But they're not going to be able to drop it this turn. They need to have two lands in here. There's one. Assassin's Trophy. Uh, that's fine. We're going to hold this opt. And we're just going to play Phoenix this turn and attack them. And now if they play Vivian and Minus, we have the spells needed to bring Phoenix back and attack the Vivian. Alright, they're plusing, which is wise. 
So I guess our line this turn is to look for more phoenixes. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll start with opt. So that lets us see two cards. Goblin Electromancer is a good one. This will more than pay for itself here. Radical idea. Radical idea away to Steam Vents. Hmm. Oh, we totally bricked. Which I guess means we're going for it again next turn. And hoping they don't play like Braska or something huge here. Yeah. No, oh, we probably lost this one now. We needed to hit like. I think any action in all that drawing, we just went through like another gigantic pocket of land. This is one of the reasons I did want to try 18. And maybe I should try it again, and perhaps the best approach to 18 is not playing the Electromancers. Crackling Drake. This can potentially block the Carnage Tyrant. I guess we, I guess we, we lead with this. Opt. Awesome. So, I guess we do this. <clears throat> this play crafter is quite dead in their deck. Ugh, yep. And now we're quite dead to this Carnage Tyrant. We can block the, uh, the Jade Light and take seven, go to one. Trace actually a decent draw. The question is blocking wise now. I think we have to sh shock a chupacabra. Uh, actually, we just don't have it, right? So we need to get seven in front of the Carnage Tyrant. Seven toughness. Uh huh. So even if we shock this, we'd have to block three things on the Tyrant, and one on the G Light, and we'd be done. And it's the exact same thing if we tormenting voice here. Discard the Phoenix. Yeah, if we had a way to get this other Arc Light Phoenix, oh, and we didn't even have the spell threshold. So, 
Unfortunately, Trample gets the better of us there. That actually ended up being closer. I think if we had hit that turn that we bricked hard digging, if we had hit like any, any action, we probably would have been able to find a win there. Right, let's run it back. Sometimes you play this deck and you're just in a brick. And I guess that is one of the reasons that you... Wow, what is this? A five? I didn't get a single 5 land hand with my 26 land Esper deck. It's unreal. I'm, I'm really starting to disbelieve the... Uh... The theory behind the shuffler here. It felt correct on 18. We always got two lands on 18. I think maybe once or twice we got dealt a one land hand or a zero land hand that we had to mulligan. But I'm not having that experience. Playing these 22 and 26 land decks. Alright, let's see if we can just shock it here. That card's very scary. Okay. Uh, so the question is... No, oh, I think we'll just... Oh, that's a radical idea now, just in case we draw like an opt or something. Lava foil. That's a good draw. We'll just go ahead and use it now. So we are an Electromancer. We're a one mana spell away from getting this Arc Light into play. Which means it's probably worth charting here to see what we find. Or if they retort it. Not a one mana spell. Alright, so I guess we have to just casually pass here. As we kind of flood out again on 22 land. Looks like they don't have the enchantment though. So that votes well for us. Alright, that's a good that's good. And I guess we'll try it one more time for good measure. We're gonna get two Drakes back here at least. There's a chance that they're gonna flash in some Merfolk here to block us, but that's okay. All right, no tricksters. They're just playing a blink of the eye. Looks like they don't have dive down. So let's play two creatures here. And we're winning this race in the air. Okay. Let's torment away the Phoenix. Uh... 
what? Interesting they didn't attack with the Herald, but I guess they want to block the two damage potentially. So we're looking for another Lava Coil here. I guess we should keep all this in case we need to. So I'll make this swing. If they trade here, we're very happy. If they let a Phoenix... Ooh. Now we're less happy. We still punch through nine. And I think we're just going to draw two second main phase here. Twenty two lands. Oh, I guess we've only seen 14 of them. There's eight more left in here. Very cool. Seven more left. Oh. This person to hang back, they're on eight. They're the ones that are kind of in danger of dying here. And if they want to save this now, they have to use like a Wizard's Retort or something on their turn. They held this back because they had, they assumed that we just have so many spells in hand. <laughs> hmm. I think we're just digging for Lava Coil again here. Lava Coil closes out the game really easily. Cool, another land. Cool. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, five land left in the deck. Really inopportune time to hit that enormous pocket of land. I mean, honestly, not a worse time to hit it. Just gotta do this. And they have to dive down. We're actually going to lose this one, it looks like. I'm sure our opponent's in disbelief like that we've seen over the what, last three turns, like 10 guards and only drawn lands. Radical idea for lands. I guess we'll double block. So we have to assume we're going to get a spell. Okay. This is a start. If they just like wizards retort this, we're screwed. That resolving is really good. I 
I think we are actually out of lands now, right? Save this for next turn. In case we have to do some blocking here. Yeah, so there's three lands left in the deck. So we should really only be hitting action. In theory. Hmm. This is actually kind of good, since we have so much land in play. They can't activate all these Siren Storm Tamers. So we can find another removal spell here. Uh, definitely don't want that. I guess we just do want the radical idea. So that's the last land of the deck. I know I've said that like three times, but no, is that the last land? Did I not play 22? <laughs> this feels unbelievable. Uh, I really don't even know what to say to all this. I guess we'll just go for this here. They'll sacrifice a Storm Tamer. Spell Piercing, fine. Oh, that's super awkward. I could have paid for the Spell Pierce and made them sacrifice something. Well, kind of tilted <laughs> that we drew so many uh, land in the middle there. But maybe we'll just win off these Drakes. How many counters are they going to have? Okay. We still have two Arc Light Phoenixes in the bottom here. Two Arc Light Phoenixes in the bottom nine. Wow. We just lose. That game was super tilting. Tilting to the point where I want to look at the deck list and make sure I have 22 lands here. Twelve, twenty-two. It felt like we felt like we just drew land every time we drew two cards. I can't believe that we have only twenty-two there. <sighs> wow. Super, super tilting. I think we played the deck really well, like through turn six. Like we controlled the game, had taken pretty much no damage, got a Phoenix into play. Like it was pretty much exactly the script we were looking for. 
And uh, maybe it would have been a lot differently if we didn't have the last two drakes. Uh, Phoenix is hiding in the bottom nine cards. So imagine bringing back three or four Phoenixes. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Let's take one card here. That's a good one. I'm guessing that these lava coils are not going to be too useful here. Okay. do this actually. Oh interesting, they're playing it like control control. Three drakes in the top 30 is above expectation. I feel like you're going to win a lot of those games. Rasko Relic Seeker. Killing a Luxomancer, maybe? Mm hmm. And secondly, Revitalize. We can opt here, or I read an idea here. This gives us like three spells in the bank for when we need it. This person does not want to lose to red deck. That's for certain. Uh... Let's cycle one of these right now.
Okay. Underground Lich doesn't do anything. Can't really afford to lose these. So we'll shock them. And if we draw a spell, we can use all this next turn. Wait, I get the. Oh. It lets me search, but I only get zero. Ooh, this is spicy. They don't have some of the wreckage up. Down to seven. Play it this way since we have two phoenixes in the graveyard. And if we draw a spell. All right, we're still okay if we draw a spell. As long as this is not another settle or a brass contempt. Alright, we drew a spell, which is good. They have to lose their creature. Looks like they didn't have Settle or Rasta's Contempt there. We really couldn't try to play around it at that point. We were lucky that we had those shocks when we did. Alright, let's try to get one more. The games you draw a lot of drakes work out a lot easier than the game. Not the drakes, the, the phoenixes. Work out way easier than the ones where you don't. All right, we'll keep this. Those early morning Brooklyn sounds, the sirens, delivery trucks. Discovery here. I think we want all these. Against Guildgate tapped for sure we want all these.
save ourselves a three damage now. And get a little more food for the crackling drake. Other oh, keeping, huh? Harpooner, come on. Oh, at least we get to trade back here. I've I'm I've honestly considered playing Harpooner main in green decks because uh because the red this red blue deck is pretty popular. Oh, let's just hit a boatload of phoenixes. We also need to hit another spell. Okay. Yep. And here's where we hit that problem of uh, we're gated on blue mana. So we can't chart there. I think with the second Electromancer, we're even happy to do this. Oh, and we got the free damage. Another Harpooner. Not so good against Arclight Phoenix as it is against the Crackling Drake. Cool. So this Goblin Electromancer is happy to block here. Got him. Oh, the way that that worked out makes me think that main decking Harpooner is not that great. All right, so we went two and two. Not the best, but at least we're not out. And uh, that'll be it for this one. We'll be back again with the second part of the series. Hopefully we can string together at least two more wins, get to break even. The deck does feel, I would say overall smoother than the 18 land. Uh, and I really do think we, we could have and should have won against that mono blue deck if we had, if the, uh, the ordering of the cards in our deck were a little bit different. And you know, one more Phoenix probably would have made the difference there. So yeah, that's it for this one. 40 minutes, really long. So I hope you enjoyed, if you did, Please remember to subscribe, leave a comment, or drop a like, and uh, we'll be back again soon.